Hi, welcome to Ghost Farm Reviews. This is a quick look at Legacy Evolution, Twincast, and Rewind. And Twincast is a repaint of Blaster. I do have a full review on that if you'd like to check it out. If you're not aware, Twincast is actually the rebuilt version of Blaster. And Blaster was destroyed by Soundwave. And Soundwave destroyed by Blaster at the same time during a battle in Transformers Headmasters. And it's on YouTube. You should check it out. It's kind of an interesting battle, but it's kind of funny too. Now, they do a really good job at capturing the color of this guy very, very well. He looks just like he did off the cartoon. He does have a remolded head. One thing I will say about this is this is the only place that you can get Rewind. Rewind comes only with Twincast. So if you want the set of Eject and Rewind for Blaster, you absolutely must get Twincast. But he looks really good in these colors. I actually, I'm not sure whether I like the blaster colors better or twin cast colors. It is similar to his original colors uh, in the pre-Transformers version of him. However, there is a bit of differences. But let's get up kind of close up on this guy so I can just show you some of the detail. All right, starting off with that head sculpt. It is different. And he's got some weird sort of eye thing going on where one eye is larger than the other. But they are painted blue and it looks like a metallic blue, which is pretty nice. And he's got this smirk on him. He almost looks smug like this. It is a much different uh, head or face, I guess, than the original Blaster. And uh, it looks okay. I, I would have preferred a toy face, which I understand why they did it because of this, because probably the cartoon. But I, I would have liked a toy face on at least one of these guys. So moving on down, you get the yellow chest. Now, this is not remolded. He can only accept one tape. In the original, he did have two. Again, you could open it up by pushing the button. And it shows here. Now, this is cast in that same sort of smoky, translucent plastic, but you can see a red tint to it. This is actually really cool that this is actually painted in there to make it look red because I believe it was Mark Clonus uh, who said that this, he thought that this was a very important feature of the original and that they needed to have it in this one. And I'm glad he did. I think it looks really nice. And it sets a little bit of a different tone to it. Uh, he has the blue here. You move it on down. You see his waist. Same articulation. You got red painted there. Uh, these are cast in red and painted black. Uh, the feet here are also cast in red and painted black. Move it on back down to the back. Get the black lines that show up and red fists. Most of it's plastic. But I think this color looks pretty good. Now, just real quick, let's go over a rewind here. And he is just cast in this smoky translucent plastic which is kind of a shame i would love to have seen some opaque versions of these guys also still needing some weapons but it looks like you can i still haven't printed out any like i said i might uh still trying to find time to do that but he is i think he, the sculpt wise is looks really good um i really enjoy the sculpt on this i think he looks just fantastic i just wish it wasn't uh translucent plastic i understand it's on the same sort of sp sprue as this but I'd like to have seen it better. There's the two together. And there he is with Blaster. And Eject. Maybe we'll get some uh, Studio Series versions of these guys that are done sort of properly. That would be nice, like we did with Rumble. Of course, articulation is all the same. And again, if you want to see that, go ahead and check out my Blaster video. So we'll be right back with him transformed. All right, and here the two are transformed. Uh, as you can see, translucent plastic kind of looks bad like this. On either side, doesn't really look like tape, but you can go ahead and stick them in, in there. Fits nicely in there, just like before. Uh, I think the colors, again, stand out real nice on this. I think it looks really good, like the paint, the knobs, the black there. The red shows through on the speakers and here and here. Um, this actually red paint in there. Uh, this with painted, I wish that it could have been molded maybe in black or something with this painted because the red kind of breaks it up a little bit in there. And I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, but otherwise, I think it's just really, really good looking. Um, maybe not the best coloration of this, but it's really good. So it does have this Evo Fusion. So originally, you could just take this gun. And that, that was the storage for the gun. Well, Evo Fusion makes this an antenna by sticking it there. 
which is something you could have already done anyway. So it's like an antenna. I think I mentioned this in my other review originally when we had this figure, but whatever, it is one of those things. So coloration-wise, here he is with the Shattered Glass Blaster, which honestly, these colors are nice. These colors are very, very nice. And just uh, one more comparison. The original. So there are the three all together. Uh, which is your favorite coloration? You like the original? Twin cast? Or the Shattered Glass? So yeah, this being my third, the joints on this one are pretty good. Uh, much better than the Shattered Glass, which did have me worried. The joints are nice and tight on this one, much like the first one I got with joints are just perfect. Although, I can't recommend a third one. Uh, if you already have two and you're already deep in it, you might as well go for it. But if you need it just for a eject or a rewind here, a eject partner, um, it's going to be it's a hefty price tag just for that, I think. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you in my next review.